What's going on, guys? It's your boy LQ, Mr. Real Deal Fantasy HQ, Fire Content Only, and this is the Fantasy Football Picks and Bets presented by Prize Picks. Make sure you guys download the app. The link is in the bio, prizepicks.com. Sign up today using promo code MMN. You guys be set up for success, man. They're matching up to 100 bucks. It's literally free money. You put in 50, you get 50. You put in 100, you put in 100. But this Monday, Cyber Monday, there is a special offer for you guys. Listen, man, Cyber Monday special, 99% off. If Russell Wilson throws for one yard, you get $25. That is literally free money, people. If he throws for one yard, like literally throw it, somebody catches it, more than one yard, you get 25 bucks. So please sign up today using promo code MMNNFL to get in on this special Cyber Monday deal. People, it's free money. We all love free money, right? But Let's get into the show. I got some prize picks for the Monday night game. Monday night football, it's going to be a shootout, people. We got Seahawks versus Washington. I cannot wait to watch this game. I definitely feel as though there's some big money here. So we're going to be talking some prize picks over unders. And then we're going to get into some draft games. A captain spot where I'm going to be building up a lineup for you guys that I think, you know, you guys can cash in and bring home the gold. So let's get right into it. So, got some prize picks. Monday Night Football. Let's get into it. I want to touch on the passing yards first. Russell Wilson versus Taylor Heineke. This is going to be an a explosive game. It's going to be a shootout, people. I definitely love the odds, you know, on these prize picks. Some of these over-unders. You're going to bring home some cash. You're going to bring some home cash if you follow instructions. And of course, keep me accountable. If I say something crazy and it doesn't work out, hey, Come back in the comments, hold me accountable so I can do better. Like, duh. But anyway, going into the over-under passing yards with Russell Wilson and Taylor Heineke. 240 in a hook for Russell Wilson, and then Taylor Heineke, 230 in a hook for the passing yards. Now, I love both of these, man. I'm honestly going to hit the over for both of these guys. I definitely feel as though this game is going to be a shootout. It's going to be a lot of passing. It's going to be crazy. I mean, right now, the Seahawks defense is giving up 279 in the air. So that's per game, people. That's nothing light. That's definitely a bottom of the table defense. So my boy Taylor Heineke, the 230 in the hook, I definitely think he hit the over here. I mean, four times out of 11 games, he hit under this, but that's, you know, a whole different uh, situation. That's top of the table defenses he was facing. We're dealing with the Seahawks. They're bottom of the table right now. So I definitely think this 230 and a hook is a smash for the over. And even Russell Wilson, man, I honestly think Russell Wilson is getting the bounce back that he needs. I'm hitting the over on here being that Washington defense has been getting smoked all season. So they're also at the bottom of the table when it comes to passing yards per game. I feel as though this is the game that Russell Wilson needs to get back on track. He's been looking very wishy-washy coming back from the injury. I didn't expect much from, you know, the first game, but then last week, man, he just didn't look good. He looked it off, but now he's getting the bounce back that he needed. He need this bounce back badly for, you know, a lot of fantasy managers, but 240 in the hook. I think he could hit this 100%. So I'm going to hit the over for both of these guys. Now let's move on to the rushing yards. This is where it gets a little interesting. Um, I'm going to hit Alex Collins for the under for the simple fact he hasn't seen over 47 rushing yards since week six. And that was against Pittsburgh when he hit like, you know, the 100 yards. I mean, I definitely feel as though Alex Collins can be serviceable, but him hitting 47 and a hook where they have him at, I don't think that's possible, especially being a little banged up going into this week. And then you have DJ Dallas is going to be there. So there's going to be some type of timeshares there as well. So honestly, I feel as though, you know, you got to fade Alex Collins, but I'm going to take the under here based on what we've seen the last couple of weeks. There's nothing really you know, crazy about that running game. And I, like I said before, this is going to be a shootout. So I'm definitely smashing the under for 47 and, and a hook for Alex Collins. So definitely load that up. And uh, Taylor Heineke, man, 16 and a half rushing yards. This is definitely juicy. It looks low. It looks like, you know, why would they do this? And absolutely, I believe it's free money. I mean, Four times this season, he has less than 17 yards. I, I like my chances on this one. I feel as though he's going to be mobile. He's going to be running out of the pocket. Definitely think the Seahawks defense, you know, they're not going to be able to contain him in the pocket the entire time. So this is where he comes out of the pocket, tries to extend the play, or takes off. So Taylor Heineke, man, this 16 and a half, I'm going to hit the over on this. The over, it's so juicy, man, with Taylor Heineke because he's exciting to watch play, honestly. I feel as though he's up there in my tiers of, like, favorite, you know, quarterbacks to watch with Herbert, Josh Allen. I just love mobile guys, to be honest. I feel as though, you know, Taylor Heineke can smash his out of the park for the 16 and a half for the over. So 
Um, those other options, Antonio Gibson, I kind of want to fade away. I'm not really feeling uh, the game script. Uh, J.D. McKisson, not too sure what's going on over there with his usage, but just going to look the other way. But let's get into the receiving yards. Um, Antonio Gibson, seven and a half. And then you have D.K. Metcalf for 63 and a half. Like I said, this is going to be a shootout, man. And I feel as though, you know, I can see Antonio Gibson getting involved. I can see him getting some catches out of the backfield and obviously hitting over seven and a half. So I'm going to hit the over. I feel as though he hit this, you know, last week. He could have hit it, but it was just weird where he had like zero yards and no usage in the passing game. But weeks before that, you know, it seems like he's healthy now. I feel as though, you know, three, three, two out of the three games, I'm sorry, you know, he hit this. So I feel like, you know, he can he can do this absolutely for seven and a half. Smash that. DK Metcalf, 63 and a half. This is where it gets interesting. Now, I could be wrong on this, but. I'm willing to gamble on it. So I'm going to hit the over here for the simple fact this could easily be a DK Metcalf game. He's still, you know, the number one target over there. He has a very healthy, strong target share. So I feel as though he can easily hit this 63 and a half if it's going to be a shootout, how we expect with these bottom of the table defenses. And it could be a Tyler Lockett game as well. This <laughs> That's where it gets a little tricky because Tyler Lockett is also at a 58 and a half, you know, for receiving yards. He could hit the over for both. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you I feel comfortable putting the over for both on the same ticket. Like, if you're making a lineup and you have both of these guys for hitting the over, it could happen. It could hit. But I feel as though this can easily be a Tyler Lockett game or a DK Metcalf game. But I'm leading more towards a DK Metcalf game because he's the number one target there. He's the only guy that's seeing, you know, the seven to eight targets a game. So I feel as though DK Metcalf can definitely hit the over here. And again, bottom of the table defenses, you're going to hear all throughout this video. It's going to be a shootout, people. That's why I'm excited about this Monday night football game. Make sure you get in on that Russell Wilson. Oh, my God. That Cyber Monday special, MMN NFL, is the promo code you sign up with and get the free money. It's free money, people. Again, use the promo code, link in the bio. But uh Terry McLaurin I feel like the 62 and a half obviously is a over I'm hitting on that as well I definitely feel as though you know Terry McLaurin is still the alpha dog there he's gonna ball out you know I there's not much to say he's the only guy out there that's really doing anything so I feel as though he's gonna be force fed on this bottom of the table defense and he's going to eat as well now moving on to the running back receptions this is this is where it gets interesting so Antonio Gibson two receptions, and then J.D. McKisson, three and a half. I feel like both of these guys can hit it, but I'm leaning more towards Gibson. He's been consistent. You know, he's good for at least two receptions, two catches. He's liable to hit on this. This is another smash. This is free money on Antonio Gibson. Even if he gets like two targets, two catches, you're still good money. But I feel as though he might see four targets, three catches. He might, you know, be in ballpark there. I feel as though that you know, he's being consistent when it comes to at least two catches. I mean, look at look at the game logs, people. He has tons of games with two catches and, you know, maybe little yards. We're not talking yards. We're just talking catches on this. So I feel as though this is a smash. But uh, let's move on. Now, this is my favorite portion of fantasy. You know, this is my favorite thing about prize picks as well is the fantasy points over under. So you have DK Metcalf for 13 and a half. Now, when I like to build these tickets, I like to put some of these fantasy over-unders on there as well because it works out so well when you stack these. If you think a guy's going to hit the over on 63 and a half like DK Metcalf, you put that 13 and a hook for fantasy points on top of that to double your cash to get to that money. I'm telling you, Price Picks is such user-friendly. It's so clean, man. I love using this app. And I feel as though Metcalf for 13 and a half is a smash. That is absolutely free money here. It's a little low, man. I'm telling you, this is PPR format. So you definitely need to get on that. Another guy I'm going to touch on again, it's Alex Collins. I'm going to go with the under here. Eight and a half is way too high. I feel as though, you know, this is just banking on if he gets a touchdown, which is very possible. But I'm going to hit the the under here. Um, he hasn't been over six fantasy points since week six. Like, it's been a while now since he's been a starter. I just don't see the much change in this week. I don't see why, you know, he'll be the guy to even, you know, pop off or have a large run, et cetera, et cetera. Because how many weeks has it been? Since week six, he hasn't really done anything. So six weeks, you know, basically of just doing nothing on the way. So 
Like I said, I'm going to hit the over on DK, the under on Collins. All these other guys, man, they do look like attractive. I wanted to touch on some of these tight ends. You know, both of them, seven points apiece. I feel as though this is achievable by Gerald Everett. Logan Thomas coming off an injury as well. Yeah. It, it, it seems tempting as well, but I'm just going to fade the tight ends right here. Um, I don't feel as though I want to gamble on them. I don't want to put money on them. Um, so I'm just going to fade them all the way and just build my ticket around it. And you see Tyler Lockett there at 13 points as well. Definitely could be, you know, something that you can bank on. But like I said, I wouldn't do a DK and Tyler Lockett. It's whatever you feel. I, I definitely feel as though they both can be fantasy relevant. I definitely feel as though, you know, 13 points, you know, Tyler Lockett hit the over. All it needs is a 64 yard touchdown and, you know, a couple more catches there and there throughout the game. But like I said, I'm going to bank on this game for DK to be the guy. So this is a DK game just for me. Moving on to the quarterbacks. Now the quarterbacks, man, the over under fantasy points, it, it, it's incredibly low. If you look here, Russell Wilson, 18 points. And then you got Taylor Heineke, 17 and a half. Come on, man. Are you serious? This, this is a smash when I feel as though, you know, you got Russell Wilson at 18 points. He's going against Washington. They're number one. They're number one in fantasy points per game allowed to quarterbacks at 23 and six. Oh, man, this is a over for sure. You got to smash that. Taylor Heineke, I feel as though him being a dual threat, I feel like this is highly low i mean he's good for at least one touchdown a couple rushes and you know 245 yards etc cetera, etc cetera. that's well over 17 and a half points i feel as though you got to smash the over on both of these guys so good luck guys so let's jump into the draft kings portion of it where i'm going to be building a lineup i feel as though this lineup is cash money i looked over this lineup probably like three times i got like a couple lineups where you know i did a little flip-flop here and there but i'm going to be playing monday night and i'm going to be on DraftKings, man this is definitely what's going to be happening so in my captain spot my number one guy i want there with this bottom the table defense going against washington who are giving up a ton of fancy points per game to quarterbacks Russell Wilson in that captain spot, $16,500. That is the cap min minimum for him right now. Russell Wilson in the captain spot, absolutely. I feel as though this is a smash. Definitely going down. DJ Dallas is in my flex, $5,200. I feel like DJ Dallas, he's definitely going to be a guy that's going to be used in the passing game, so PPR usage is there. And he found the end zone last week. Let's not forget that. So I feel as though he earned his spot, earned his way into the rotation. Um, Travis Homer is injured. He's going to be out. So therefore, that PPR upside shifts over to DJ Dallas. And I feel as though, you know, maybe Alex Collins get involved in the passing game, but not too much. Like I said, he's not that guy. You're just not that guy, Chief. You're just not that guy. Next, I'm going to go to Jevil, Gerald Everett, um, 6200 bucks. Um, I feel as though Gerald Everett, he could be involved. You've seen him have a little spark last couple of weeks since he came back from injury. Russell Wilson likes him a lot. Um, he can make some plays. I actually think, you know, he might end up finding the end zone. <sighs> Hold me to that. I really think he is. Um, next up, Antonio Gibson. I feel as though, he, you know, with him being used in the passing game more now, um, him getting getting it done on the ground. I mean, we saw what he did against the Bucks. He put up big fantasy points against the number one rush defense. Feels though, you know, he he's gonna get the job done as well as long as the volume stays there. Moving on to DK Metcalf, eight thousand eight hundred bucks. This is something that you got to have in your lineup for all your DraftKings lineup. DK Metcalf, like I said before, it could be a Tyler Lockie game or it could be a DK game, but I'm definitely feeling a DK game if he's the number one target there going against Washington, man. Uh, next up, Jason Myers, 4,000 bucks. Uh, yes, I put a kicker in there. It's going to be a high scoring game. So go ahead and get those points. And then now you're left with 700 bucks. That is the leftovers. That is a clean sweep as a lineup. I love this lineup. I love the way it looks. I feel as though like you can't, you can't go wrong with this, man. I, you could probably flip flop some guys. You could probably flip out, you know, Antonio gets over JD Kisson or DK for a title lock and that's about it i feel as though that's the only thing you could probably switch around where you still have enough money you know to actually put this together but russell wilson definitely in my captain spot this is the bounce back game that we all been waiting for out of russell wilson i know we we've been patient with russell wilson but you know it's kind of tricky when you injure your hand and you're a quarterback so you know you give him some time i, I think him having this softball you know basically defense this is the bounce back that he deserves this is the bounce back we need and i feel as though DraftKings, man you're gonna win some cash with this lineup so 
that ends the episode. Please make sure you guys like and subscribe. Comment below on what you guys think. Come back and comment to hold me accountable for these picks because, hey, I got my money invested in this as well. So, again, make sure you guys do not miss out on this Cyber Monday special. 99% off. Get 25 bucks if Russell Wilson throws for a yard using promo code MMNNFL. Yes, that is a tongue twister, but I got it done. So, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Like I said, please hit the links in the bio. Check out prizepicks.com. Sign up today using promo code MMN, and they're matching up to 100 bucks. And I'll see you guys next week for another great episode. Peace. Oh.